Hello, I'm Ducky RB. Um, this is mostly to let you know this video is kind of crap. I had issues with recording it and also editing it. So it's not the best quality. Granted, my quality is not great and not a lot of editing. There's a lot of jump cuts. It's a little weird. Um, you're going to see the menu pop up up real quick and go back. It's very annoying. I was having an issue with something in the, going on in the background of the computer. Bringing up that menu real quick and dropping it down. I didn't know it in gameplay and then something else was causing other sound issues so it's really jumpy I pretty much cut out anything that was overly disturbing that was going on in the background it's something that I didn't hear because I only could hear the game noise unfortunately it's kind of annoying but the purpose of this is just to pretty much progress the gameplay to show you that I moved to the new office and what games I made um, just to let you know if you want to watch it more than welcome to if you don't want to I don't blame you. Enjoy. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. This is Ducky RB and I don't know exactly where I left off. Oh yes, I, I ended up racing McRally. I think it just went off the market. So let's go and see what we got here. Let's go and see if we can get some contract work. Oh, those things scare me. Oh, right, this one should be good. Hopefully we can get this done. Um, I'm apparently a lot faster at design. The recent release of Tess Home Console by Nintendo has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded exception yeah, ex exceeded exceptions by far. <laughs> yeah, good. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get out of this. One customer says, I love the games that come with the TES. Playing with controllers is so much more fun than on a keyboard. It can be, yes. Very much so. Especially if you're small and you have small hands, keyboards don't really work out too well. Um, cool, 21,000. Awesome, they'll save off my money. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this, and we'll go ahead and create custom game engine. Oh gosh. Um, those are the three options. I'll do all three. Um, which we call this? Duckling. This will be the less caps. Okay, the duckling uh, will be our 90k. Oh, oh, they want most of my money. Okay, your know, own game engine. Once the engine is, you'll be able to use it. Okay, cool. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know. Um, well, I got so many points remaining. I only got 67k. Oh man, hopefully I didn't spend all the money on that. I gotta get a game out. I think I'm gonna have to go PC because I don't know how much it would cost to do a, uh, a test game. Uh, recent studies show that increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Platforms become more popular with younger gamers while others... Okay. Develops focus on the game's specific age to impact. Okay. Uh, duckling is completed. Congratulations, your first custom. Um, I gotta develop a game. Uh, let's go topic. Oh gosh. Um, alternate history. And we'll go. Oh, what could we do? What could we do? Oh gosh. Re. Revolt 2020. So, like, way off in the future. So, we'll go ahead and pick a genre then. Vault 2020. Should I do strategy then? What we'll is strategy game? Platform. Oh, what? 80k? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to do this. Um, duckling. Okay. It's 15k. Ooh. Okay, we'll do version 2 graphic, uh, 2D graphics on this. Oh gosh, I'm gonna be so broke. Uh, engine story quest, this is strategy, so we're gonna go with, uh, do that. We're gonna showcase the engine too. So. Oh, could I pick something on the side? Oh no. Oh man. That's not good. I should've done a linear storyline. Following massive. That's all there are now rumors. That circling that then uh, another Japanese company is planning to release a home gaming console. So that would be Vena 
Sony? Okay, so strategy with a little bit of that. AI really high on that one. Okay, I don't know. I, oof, my money's gonna be gone. I gotta be able to make this back. Uh, graphic sound to, okay, that works. So we're just gonna keep on this. I really should probably did linear storyline though. For strategy, it makes it makes it makes sense a little bit more, but and I should have done save too. Darn. I'm oh god, it went off the market real quick. Ugh, only not. I'm gonna have to make a game, and I'm gonna have to racing platform. I oh, know I don't want that one. I don't want that one. Uh. All right. Genre simulation. Right. So what do I got for this? Simulation and strategy are pluses. Good. Um, uh, simulation. Okay. It's a great combo. Engine duckling. Um, okay. <sighs> racing. What kind of racing game should it be? Drift. Sunrise. Drift Sunrise. Okay. Oh god, this is gonna be awful. Um. Okay, PC racing pick genre. Oh, genre simulation. I gotta. All right. So we do that one. Even though I don't have them. Oh, I'm negative. Oh god. Um. Story and quest, save game. I'm just gonna go all out on this. I'm gonna be so broke at the end of this, though. Yeah, I know, I know. Your bank account is in the red. Thank for your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50K. Be careful, your account will fill up 50K, you go bankrupt. Oh God, no. I don't know if I'll have enough time to get this done. Oh. Conrad. Okay, the recent release of upcoming console Master B by Venna has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry expects the says the new console is not very well marketed in North America, but will flourish in other parts of the world. All right, I gotta get this. Okay, tutorial. I'm generating game reports to gain insight into into development process. To learn about what works and what doesn't work. Um, the insights will show hints in development. Okay. All right. So that's what those pluses and negatives mean. And okay, the hints range from plus 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 to negative negative and indicate how important an area is for this type of game. When hints have a question mark at the end, it means that you have insights from a game in the same genre, but you are not yet sure whether it holds true to this particular genre type combination. Okay. So we'll do that. We'll keep it there. Um dialogue up a little bit, level design. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm so negative right now. Hopefully I can dig myself out of this hole. Okay, so we're gonna do sound, graphics, up the world design a little bit. Probably doesn't need it, but you know, hopefully we can get a little bit more information. So far the first game off of Duckling was awful. Okay, get these bugs out. I don't know if I put bugs in the last one. I'm so scared. Any more points? Pull me on this one. I got a solid seven. Oh my gosh. Thank God. I don't feel like I'm going to die at this point. Please. Please make me some money. It's already outsold the previous game in two weeks. I'm back in the positive. Yay. Green. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, we're going to generate the game report on this one. Research. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do casual games. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do casual, target market, and then I'm going to research the pet one that I was thinking about doing last game. And we're going to release it on... Okay. Wow. 31. Nice. Oh. Okay. Casual games is done. Okay. So we're going to do some more research here. Research target audience. So what I'm going to try to do, today N Nintendo has announced they will be introducing a portable gaming device called the Game Link, and the device comes with 
interchangeable cartridge, game cartridges and monochromatic screen, a green back on a green background, but built-in speakers and even multiplayer support via cable connections. It's crazy. Oh, it's the Game Boy. That's awesome. Uh, compared to the PC and other gaming consoles, the Game Link is underpowered, but given the lower cost and ex excellent portable portability, it might be a huge following. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. Game Link is said to hit shelves next month. Can I make a game before, before it comes out? for it I, I need to make money and I don't know if I'm okay target audience okay let's go ahead and do more research new topic virtual pet and can I get two things at once no new topic virtual pet okay we'll just go ahead and do this um maybe I need to do game tutorials too but right now I'm losing money so I gotta make this game fast basically Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and develop this game. Develop new game. You may specify what your main target audience for this game is. Games can be targeted young people to everyone and uh, mature audiences. Okay. Picking the right target audience for your game is important. Tar your target platform can also play a role in some platforms, especially popular with specific audiences. Okay, we're gonna do young. Should I do everyone or young for this? Everyone. I'm gonna pick a topic. We're gonna virtual pet. We're gonna genre. We're gonna do casual. We're gonna do pla pick a platform. Oh no. Um. All right. Yes. Oh, I got 4K. This is awful. Duckling. Okay. Um. Oh gosh. What should I name this? Pet. My first pet. My first pet. And we're going to do young. So it's young, virtual. Am I on young? We'll do young. Okay. We'll do this. We're going to do TD graphics. You know, visually there. Visually. Oh, gosh. Today, the new game link um, platform. Um, what is that? The new game platform game link has been released for Nintendo and has been released oh gosh it seems that you have some serious yeah I do I'm broke okay I'll take the 82 oh my gosh um engine storing quest um here storing quest not so much um we'll do save game the linear story needed on this okay so the gameplay is really important for casuals because you know you just gotta play it and you gotta enjoy doing it but it's not something you're gonna have to do all the time artificial intelligence not that much in casual dialogues a little bit but not a whole bunch uh, level design okay we'll keep it at that hopefully you know just visually it's gonna look good and that's kind of what I needed to so it's gonna attract the youngins um, sound basic sound world design graphics yeah we'll keep all that up um, hopefully this will turn out good and oh my gosh I am so broke come on bugs get them out anything else coming up no All right. maybe I'm waiting too long in between games I'm just gonna have to bang them out next time I guess that's the only thing I can do less money in research and more money in just getting stuff out oh gosh this one's not going as well as I hoped I'm down to $843. I'm going to be in the negative again. Alright. Oh. Oh my god! My first pet has achieved the company sales record of over 50Ks. This is an important milestone in 
history of the duck pond. Oh my god. And it sold more. My first pet has reached the company sales records of 100k. This is an important milestone for the history of duck pond. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Number one. I'm right. Number one. Look at that. Number one in sales right there. Um, okay. Oh, I, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'll do it. I'll move. Wow. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and a forge of work and forge a world class development team to make even better games. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm at a million though. Uh, now you're able to train your staff and improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course which requires right before you hire your first employee. To start this course, um, you this yeah, close this message and click on your character to bring up the training menu. Okay. Um I'll go ahead and do a game report on that. Oh my gosh. I was so scared that game was going to flop. And it just is going crazy. According to the market research, um, the recently published game My First Pet is a surprising hit with players. The developer Duck Pond is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for <laughs> what they will develop next. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I got that high of a rating on this. That is crazy. Our post and analysis of, um, of my first pet is complete with, <laughs> and what we got is the following results. Virtual pet and casual is a great combination. Dialogue seems not important with this game. Platform genre is, is a match, it's great. It's awesome. Okay, um, that's crazy. So let me go ahead and train. We have to do the management course, 25K. I'm at two million. How much is this thing sold? Uh, creator of Vena created the the Master B console has announced Vena Gear, a portable console to directly compete with against the game link for, from Ninten Nintendo. Oh my gosh, I'm so late into that though. Okay, a spokesman for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market which don't um, come close to gaming consoles consoles, the Vena Gear has basically full power of the Master V, except that you can't take it with you. The Vena Gear is also has full color screen. That's cool. Vena's a device topple the will Vena device topple the game link? We'll see. The Vena Gear is will debut in two months. Oh gosh. I'm still ranked two. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Well done. You've successfully completed your management course. You are now able to hire your first employee. To get started, to get started, close this message and click the fill position button. Okay, fill position. Before you can hire someone, you may have to advertise the position, set the advertising budget, decide how much you want to test your applicants. High budget will increase the number of applicants, and the different tests will find the people with the right balance of skill to technology. Oh gosh. Um, We'll do 50k game demo. I'm gonna do complex algorithm because I need someone for tech. Okay. Oh my god. My first pet is now off the market. It sold 392,040 units, generating 2,744,314 dollars in sales. That is crazy. Shows you the power of casual pet games. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Okay, so let's go and hire an applicant. Don't forget that you will always train your employees to improve their skills. Speed research. Level one. He is so much tech, it's ridiculous. Um, okay. I got two people, 8K per month, 17K per month. This guy is phenomenal. I'm going to hire him. 
It seems like the duck pond has recently moved into an office in is well known technology in a well known te technology park and is now searching for employees. Well, I just hired him. Uh, the company, which is known for games such as My First Pet, Drift Sunrise, has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. Yes, I did. It's did. One, one of my many fans of My First Pet commented, I can't believe they didn't even have a proper office until now. <laughs> and those games were created only by one person. I'm really looking forward to the future of their games. Congratulations on your first hire. New employees have to settle in before they can be fully effective. When your character is not fully effective, you can see an, inf yeah, an efficiency bar next to them. This bar will fill up slowly over time. It is usually a good idea to give your staff a welcome training to get them up to speed quickly. This is will maximize their effective their effective effectivity. Yeah, whatever efficiency. That's what it is. When Way faster than normally. To do this, close your this management menu and blah blah blah. We know the rest. Medium games is now available. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is train him. Okay, we do that. So he is going to be my tech guy, and I guess I'm gonna have to specialize in design unless I get a guy who's a design guy. Uh, today, the new game platform Vena Gear by Vena has been released. Cool. And I'm sitting pretty at two mil. Um, what is he doing? Uh, boss, I discovered that some someone recently that some re really dedicated fans of know they make cows have created a fan game using a lot of the same material of our game. They don't make any money with it and just seem to do it for fellow fans. A legal advisor strongly suggests we shouldn't allow this to go on. What do we do? Let them be. I mean, fan games are awesome. If you're a fan of a game so much that you make your own game of it, that is fantastic. Hello, I'm Denise Reed, main developer of the Know They May Cows ga fan game. I recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say thank you. I'm very grateful that you did it. Well, no problem at all. Duck Pond is the best company in the world, and I'm glad to be part of the fan community. Well, I'm glad you're part of it, too. We've gained 307 fans. That's great. Okay. As for now, I think this has gone on long enough. 